Let's write this fraction in simplest form. Remember, a fraction is in simplest form if the numerator and denominator have no common factors other than one. So to see if there are any common factors, let's write the prime factorization of each number. In other words, let's write each number as a product of primes. 24 is, let's see, 2 times 12, and 12 is not a prime, but 2 is a prime, so let's work on 12 now. 12 is 4 times 3, and I know 4 is 2 times 2, and then 3. Now you double check me, but this is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and 8 times 3, that is 24. Now let's write the prime factorization of 210. I know 3 divides into 210 70 times, and then what is 70? 70 is 7 times 10, and then 10 is 2 times 5. Again, double check and make sure, but notice this is 21 times 10, and 21 times 10 is certainly 210. Once we've prime factored the numerator and the denominator, we can see if there are any common factors. Notice there's a common factor of 2, and there's also a common factor of 3. Now, I'm going to write this a little differently now. I'll write this as 2 over 2 times 3 over 3, and then we'll talk about why I'm writing it this way, times, I have 2 times 2 left in the numerator, and 7 times 5 left in the denominator. Now, why am I writing it this way? Because remember, 2 over 2, which is this common factor in the numerator and denominator, that simplifies to 1. Any number divided by itself, except 0, of course, simplifies to 1. So this is essentially 1 times, what's 3 over 3? That is 1 again. And then times, what do we have here, by the way? 2 times 2 is 4 over 7 times 5, which is 35. And then what happens? Well, 1 times 1 times 4 over 35 is simply 4 over 35. To simplify, we are essentially removing factors of 1, and those factors of 1 are represented by the same number on top in the numerator as in the denominator. So we've simplified, and in simplest form, it is 4 over 35.